So you are a great specialist of uh, art, um, love, sex, 18th and in 18th century painting. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you are the curator of, yes, the curator conservateur of 18th century painting at the Louvre. So uh, do you think that an exhibition, that's the one which will take place soon, and you are an advisor for it at Musée Cognacier, could take place in US or in, in England today? I don't know. Frankly, I don't know. I, um, I, I know that there, there, there was already a, a very uh, smart exhibition about the subject uh, um, in the US, and it was, it was created by a gentleman, Rich Aram, who is now the, the chief, the boss, in, in the Getty Museum in Los Angeles. And 20 years 20 ago, years he created ago. a very smart exhibition. But yes, it was 20, 20 years, ago. years ago. Now there's Mm -hmm. uh, feminism, political correctness, mm -hmm. a lot of taboo and a lot of um, challenge in other places. Of course. So, uh, 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 well, uh, I can see it's much more difficult now, but uh, um, I think there should be exhibition about the subject, and especially in the US, um, and especially now because the uh, um, the 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 way to, to, to understand, to perceive uh, history and history of love and desire, history of relationship between genders is, is so much different. So I, I think it, 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 it should be the time now to redo an exhibition about the subject. And um, you did this great book in French. I hope once it will be translated in English about the subject so. and it's shown here l'amour peintre so uh, what did happen in the in france in 18th century to welcome this kind of production dedicated to love and painting the Galant fact is that in in france in 18th century love was the core of french identity it was, it was not just a private affair now love um, seems to be just private for us. But it was not the case in the 18th century. And the best example I could give is that the, the surname of the, the, the French king at the time, who was 15, his name was Le Bien-Aimé, the beloved. So <laughs> it means he, he was not the great, he was not the conqueror. His, his, his surname was the beloved. And it, it, it was, it was, it was the, the key issue at the time when France considered itself as the most refined nation in Europe and the, the most refined in, in, um, in sociability and in where the people interact. And the, 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 the finest example uh, French civilization could give of its, of its, uh, of, of this, um, uh, um, Finest was the way to uh, behave when people were in love. And they have a word for that. The, the, the French were galant, oui. the word galanterie. And galanterie means a way to be gentle with others. And the l'amour galant, the galant way of love, I would say, is a way that you are very gentle. Men are very gentle towards women, and they are, they are sincere, they are respectful, so it's, it's, it's very important. And it was the way love should be during the 18th century. 